In front of me, we have the new Magic Keyboard Folio, which is Apple's brand new keyboard and trackpad case for the iPad that I personally think is better than the original Magic Keyboard with its floating design because the new Magic Keyboard Folio is actually cheaper, starting at $250 US and arguably offers more functionality. But there's a catch because this new Magic Keyboard Folio case is only available and compatible with the new 10th generation base model iPad. So there's no version for the iPad Air or the iPad Pro, which I personally think is a pity because I would love to see this cheaper option for the iPad Air and the iPad Pro as well. And along with that, the new Magic Keyboard Folio case seems to be the only keyboard and trackpad case that's available for the iPad 10 as of the time of me recording this video, which is during the launch of the iPad 10. But I would expect to see companies like Logitech and other MFI certified keyboard cases to be available as time goes on, so keep your eye out for that. And speaking of Logitech, this whole two-piece keyboard, trackpad, and kickstand design for the iPad isn't entirely new. Because in front of me, I have the Logitech Combo Touch, which I've been using with my 11-inch M1 iPad Pro. And as you can see, there's a keyboard, a trackpad, a kickstand, and it also detaches into two portions. And it also uses the smart connector like Apple's Magic Keyboard accessories for the iPad, so you don't need to charge it or worry about latency at all. But my only gripe with this entire package is that it's really thick and bulky, and it kind of defeats the whole thin and light portable form factor of the iPad Pro. And in one hand, this is great for durability because all sides are covered. But if you're more careful with your devices and you don't abuse them on the daily, this whole bulkiness of this case is a bit of a limiting factor for me if I wanted something that was a bit more thin and light without sacrificing on the kickstand and two-piece form factor. But that's where the new Magic Keyboard Folio comes in that's available for the iPad 10. And that's why I want the Magic Keyboard Folio case to be available for more devices apart from just the iPad 10. But before we unbox this real quick, I just want to take note that even though the glyph on the back shows this dark colored or black Magic Keyboard Folio case, this case is only available in white. So just keep that in mind. So as you can see, the Magic Keyboard Folio comes in two pieces, the keyboard and trackpad portion with the smart connector which directly interfaces with the iPad for power and input, and the top part which magnetically attaches to the back of the iPad and also has the built-in kickstand on the back. Let's take a look at the keyboard first. So as you can see, we have a full layout with the function keys and everything underneath, but this isn't necessarily a full-sized keyboard because this keyboard isn't as big as what you find on something like a MacBook or a 12.9-inch iPad Pro. But despite the smaller size, it's actually very easy to get used to and you'll be typing fast with this in no time. In terms of the actual key feel, there's very nice travel, there's very good uniformity across all of the longer keys as well. And overall, Apple's scissor switches they're using for their Magic Keyboard branded products are very good. And when it comes to the trackpad, this is definitely one of the main highlights of the show here. Because despite the smaller form factor of the keyboard itself, the trackpad is still very large and it has great tracking thanks to the smooth frosted glass finish and you can click anywhere on the trackpad which is really convenient unlike traditional diving board design where you can only click here because on this trackpad you can click anywhere with perfect uniformity. Now even though the keyboard deck is made out of a durable plastic and the trackpad is made out of glass the rest of the keyboard including the keyboard deck and the back is made out of the same silicone-esque material that Apple uses for their magic keyboard case for the larger iPad Pro and the iPad Air as well as their smart folio covers which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it's really nice and soft to the touch but it doesn't age the best if you roughhouse your device a lot but if you take good care of it it should be fine for the most part. When it comes to the kickstand portion of the case the actual part of the case which touches the back of the iPad is made out of this nice suede like material which is really soft and really pleasant while on the other side, which is the exterior of the case, it's made out of the same silicone-esque material as the rest of the Magic Keyboard Folio case and Apple's other Magic Keyboard accessories for the iPad. To secure the iPad 10 to this case, you literally just place it on the back and the magnets do the rest. And when it comes to the kickstand portion, it actually extends about 80 degrees, which is fine when it comes to visibility on most angles. If you're standing over the iPad, this might not be the best angle when it comes to visibility, but when you're just using it at a desk, this is like the perfect angle for doing work or consuming content. And this kickstand is honestly one of the main reasons why I love devices like the Microsoft Surface Pro with the built-in kickstand, because a tablet with the kickstand is simply just an unbeatable experience. And if you're not actively utilizing the kickstand and you want to use the iPad flat on a surface like this, just to use it casually, or if you're, for example, writing or drawing, 
The friction of the case means that the iPad's not simply just wiggling around on the surface when you're writing or drawing, which is really nice from a penmanship perspective. Something I quickly want to add is that combined with the kickstand portion of this case, and the fact that the iPad 10 actually has the selfie camera in the horizontal edge of the iPad. This is like the perfect portable setup when it comes to video calling. You can find the perfect angle and just have the best experience video calling with the camera in the right position and the kickstand to give you the perfect viewing angles. Finally, let's combine the iPad and kickstand portion with the keyboard and trackpad portion. And that's done through the smart connector at the bottom of the iPad. And this is also one of the reasons why this case isn't compatible with the iPad Air and the iPad Pro, because those devices have the smart connector on the back here, whereas this is along the bottom edge. So we just combine it like this, it attaches magnetically, you put out the kickstand and just like that, you have the perfect setup for the iPad 10. Despite this being a two piece setup, it's still extremely portable. And yes, the edges are exposed. And I personally kind of like that because it allows the pop of color of the iPad to kind of shine through but it isn't that good from a durability perspective if you're especially prone to dropping your devices. But for the more careful amongst you, this is actually one of the best options for the iPad 10. And right now it's one of the only options for the iPad 10. But even when new options come out from other third-party manufacturers, I would expect this Magic Keyboard Folio case to still be among one of the best options for the iPad 10. And a quick pro tip, you can actually connect the keyboard and trackpad portion the other way around to the iPad and flip it on itself. So now you have a neat little reading, presenting or writing mode with the keyboard case still securely attached to the rest of the iPad and everything in one secure unit. Earlier at the beginning of this video, I mentioned how I like this Magic Keyboard Folio form factor over the original Magic Keyboard and it's also cheaper and I mentioned that it has a bit more functionality as well. Now this comparison I'm about to make isn't the most useful comparison because these two devices and these two cases aren't cross compatible with each other. But these are basically some reasons why I'd like this Magic Keyboard Folio style case to be uh, one of the options available for the iPad Pro and the iPad Air because I love this form factor so much. Let's put aside the size differences for now because these two devices are completely different sized. But basically what I'm gonna go over are the general features. For example, we have an actual function row on the Magic Keyboard Folio, which is not even present on the more expensive Magic Keyboard. And this is something that I really don't like about the original Magic Keyboard because it changed things like brightness or volume or just to have quick media controls, you have to actually go into the control center of the iPad and physically move your hand up to touch the screen. Whereas you don't have to do that on the Magic Keyboard Folio, which is really convenient. And the trackpad is also bigger on the Magic Keyboard Folio, which is smaller than the trackpad, which is smaller smaller on the larger Magic Keyboard. So that's also a plus point to the Magic Keyboard Folio. And not to mention that the Magic Keyboard Folio is a two-piece design. So if you don't need the keyboard or trackpad, but you still want to prop up the iPad at the angle you want, you can still use the kickstand portion of the case, which is really convenient. But you can't do that on the Magic Keyboard because if you detach the iPad from the entire keyboard accessory, the iPad is basically by itself and you need to get a separate case to prop up the iPad just for simple content consumption. And that's not entirely convenient because this case costs more, but essentially gives you less functionality. And this is again, why I want the Magic Keyboard Folio form factor for these larger iPad Pros as well. So that essentially concludes my overview of the Magic Keyboard Folio for the iPad 10. And if you have an iPad 10, I definitely recommend that you check this out because combining the iPad OS software experience with the keyboard and trackpad, especially one that's as high quality as this one, will completely elevate your iPad 10 experience from a productivity and versatility standpoint. Now, all Apple needs to do is bring this case form factor to the other other iPads because this form factor just comes in clutch in so many ways. If you found any type of value in my video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe for more tech content like this. If you have any questions about the Magic Keyboard Folio case or the iPad in general, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. But in the meantime, my name's Ramal. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.